Okay, we're back for part three. So let's look at the free body diagram of this. So you have, this is the applied force. Let's see, do we have a picture? Yeah, here's a picture of the apparatus, by the way. So, and it gives a bunch of numbers over here. We'll get to that in a second. Um, and by the way, we got all these numbers. F is our unknown. F is going to be our unknown. Don't know it. So we're going to have a uh, link here. We're going to have forces here. Uh, spring is stretched 1.5 inches. So 20 pounds per inch. Uh, delta L equals 1.5 inches. Let's see, uh, force on B, 20 pounds, that's a given. It's a two-force member. You'll notice both of these are two-force members. A spring is a two-force member, just like a link, just like a cable, just like a rope. This can have forces in one of two, can have forces in both directions, but no moments. And then the problem is to work through all the uh, equations to, to figure out what's going on. And we're, we're going to be able to figure out this force from this information. One and a half inches at 20 pounds per inch. That would mean this is 30 pounds. There's 30 pounds of force. Okay. Uh... So, AX uh, plus 30 pounds plus 20 pounds equals zero. AX equals negative 50 pounds. AY is going to be equal to negative X. Negative F, excuse me. So there's, both of these are unknown at this time. We got to get AY um, some other way. So let's look at the moment, or we need to get F some other way. Let's look at the moment around this pin. We're going to solve for F. We're not going to find AY. We can find it after we solve for F. But F is the interest... Um, F is the quantity of interest, what we really want to know. So we have a counterclockwise moment of five, 5 inches times F. 5F. Five and we have a clockwise moment of 30 times 1 plus 20 times 2.5. Minus 30 times 1 is 30. Minus 20 times 2 and a half is 50. And that would be inch pounds. The units would be inch pounds of moment. Pounds and inches. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Then uh, F would equal... should equal 16 pounds. If I did my math correct, okay. here's the situation drawn in, just like I drew it, by, by the way. And so they go through a lot of argument, or a lot of argument, stuff like that. Um, but they don't actually calculate F. They calculate the other quantities. Okay. 
So the equilibrium equations, let's talk about those. Um, summation in, of all the forces in the x direction, zero. Summation of all the forces in the y direction, zero. Summation of all the moments is zero. So all these forces have to sum to zero. Remember, we can change it into one force, one moment, resultant force, resultant moment. The resultant forces have to, have to be zero. Resultant moments have to be zero. Um, alternatives. So a, a lot of times you might have the forces on two different axes and a moment. Um, you can also have force along one axis or one line of action that may not be an axis, which is why we said force A, whatever that force is, however we define our system. And then two moments. So when you look at a problem, you can say, well, what's the easiest way to solve this? Is it better if I just use moments and one force or even three moments? Moments about three different points. Is that better? What will get me to my answer quickest? That's, that's what you're looking for. That's why you think about these alternatives. Gee, will I save myself some tedious math if I do this or this? Okay, next. So uh, this example, uh, so I've been, we've been going through theory and now we, we did a couple examples. Horizontal and vertical components of the reaction of the beam at pin A, pin B, pin B, and the rocker A. So at the rocker, we have a rocker at A, so you only have the normal force. At B of a pin, so you have two uh, directions possible directions of force. We have 600 newtons acting at 45 degrees. So we break it down, resolve it into two components right here. Um, and you have 100 newtons acting at point D. And from here, we can figure it all out. So um, AY plus BY minus 200 minus 200, and that's Newtons. Is it minus 200? Yes, 200 right here. And then minus another 100, it's pointing down, so it's negative. And then negative uh, 600 sine 45. Okay, uh, in the y direction, we only have two forces. We have this force, and we have this force. I don't see any other forces in the y direction. So, um, negative bx, plus 600 cosine 45 has to equal 0. We're taking forces directed to the right as being positive. 600 cosine 45. Forces directed to the left being negative. Okay, and then finally, we'll, let's see, we have AY, BY, BX, three equations so far. We need another equation. That's the moment equation. So uh, let's see. Let's If I pick my moment about B, I've only got one unknown. 
a y. So let's do that. So that's 2 plus 2 plus 3, that's 7, in the clockwise direction. Negative 7, oh, I, I want to write down Newton meters over here, by the way. Newtons for forces. Newtons for forces. Newton meters will be at the end of my moment equation. So 7 meters times a sub y, and it's negative because it's tending clockwise. Um, yeah, plus 600 sine 45 times 5 meters because it's tending counterclockwise. Um, so we got this force taken care of, this force taken care of. 200 BX and, and BY are not going to make any difference. Don't need to worry about these three because they're all passing through the point of rotation. Um, we have 100 Newtons acting counterclockwise times 2 meters. 2 times 100 is minus 200 Newton meters. And it's acting counterclockwise. Yes, so it would be positive 200. Just like this is a positive 200. So we've got this one taken care of. We only have to worry about this one, which is tending clockwise, minus 600 cosine 45 degrees. And that's acting at two tenths of a meter. Okay, so let's do the calculations. Okay, so here's um, here's calculations. BX four twenty four. AY 319, and let me close my calculator out, 319, BY 405. And so they do all the calculations, same equations we got, BX 424, AY 319, moment about B, remember we said we were going to do that. It's more convenient. It was more convenient. And then calculate what um, BY has to be, 405, which is exactly what we got. Okay, so here's another example. I thought, I'm picking examples that are good. Let's stop this video here. I'll pick up this example on the next video.